Far out there, in that stormy ocean, people desperately need your help. It is 6 o'clock in the morning and the phone rings. Your Coast Guard office has picked up a distress call on the international frequency. You need now to act. A check with the surface sensor unit reveals that there is nothing showing on radar. This leads you to the conclusion that the distress call must be coming from far offshore and well beyond the horizon. Clock is now ticking. Should you send in a helicopter? But where to? Or even in what direction? It is cloudy, the wind is strong, so low level reconnaissance is not a good option, it would take too much time anyway. People could be dying out there somewhere. How do you respond? Let's have a look at another scenario. The tension grows deeper between two countries. There is a profound mistrust, and there is an assumption that the other side's troop movements are being kept dark. This may contravene a transparency agreement between these two countries. Things are now potentially going to evolve from this position, get more heated, maybe even escalate into full armed conflict. Not so friendly fighters have been detected by the surface sensor units in close violation of the airspace. And there may be rumors of the other side's naval assets being assembled far out at sea. This forces you to send your own fighters on constant combat air patrol missions in order to maintain the upper hand. Your intelligence people are working overtime trying to maintain the situation and awareness. And probably the political dialogue is kept at somewhat a stalemate, both sides feeling mistrustful, not knowing the, true, the other side's true intentions. So how do you diffuse and manage this situation from escalating further? Let's have a look see at what we actually need in order to solve these two scenarios. In both scenarios, you need to see more. You need to see well beyond the horizon and to be able to cover vast areas quickly. You basically need to make the Earth flat again, to detect, to identify and to be able to issue the correct orders. In order to see far beyond the Earth's curvature, you need to be high up in the air. But being that high up will put tremendous demands on your radar equipment. You need a long range radar and a wide array of sensors in order to paint this comprehensive and true accurate picture. But you also want to be able to command and control the situation, staying aloft for long periods of time to lead the way forward for other assets that can get closer in to the target or situation and get actual hands and eyes on. In the second scenario, the crisis between the two countries, you would also need the flexibility of a swing roll solution. You want to be able to efficiently and swiftly switch between air, maritime and land surveillance missions. That way, you will stand ready for whatever new situation or information that arises to you. All this, you want from an independent and experienced system supplier. Someone you can really trust Saab has been building aircraft for 80 years, developing radars for 60 years, and we have vast operational experience of airborne early warning and control systems for 25 years. So, how are these two situations now actually solved? With the latest airborne early warning and control solution at hand from Saab, you will meet all those requirements and you will be able to solve both situations. In the first scenario, with the distress call far out at sea, uh, your aircraft will be well en route within just about 15 minutes to be able to provide you with a wide area true picture. The sensor suite will immediately detect the sinking ship's position and radio comms will pick up knowing information and be able to send the right information further down the chain. By staying aloft for at least 10 hours or more, the system will also provide you to be a command and control platform guiding ships and helicopters to the area of interest to rescue those people. In the crisis scenario, between the two countries, your own air and ground assets would uh, benefit greatly from getting a true and joint seamless picture, allowing you to sustain your operations 
with a minimum of wear and tear. So with less guesswork, more precision, and room for informed decision, it would be possible to reach an understanding and probably also diffuse this situation from escalating further. So, let's sum this up. Regardless of operating under peace, in crisis, or maybe even in full conflict, having an airborne suite of sensors is absolutely paramount. Being able to link information in real time between air and ground to the decision makers is proven to be a true operational success. So simply by adding the latest airborne early warning and control solution from SOG to your toolbox, your ability to maintain the strategic and tactical upper hand over a long time will be maintained. So, the Earth may still be around, but uh, with a view from the latest airborne early warning and control solution from SOG, it appears as if we made the Earth flat again. To allow you to see far and beyond, and to allow you to see it all. Thank you.